Oh man, the UPS guy is like my best buddy now. Got a whole bunch of those just in time. I don't even remember what's in here. Okay, for some reason I needed, I don't even know how many this is, something like 50 drawer slides. You know, there's the things that go beside drawers so you can uh, slide them in and out. Anyway, I'm sure they're for something very important or else I wouldn't have ordered them. And there's a bunch of pieces of aluminum. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this mess and put those new parts to work, bye. So I got my rabbit ear things in place since I got these uh, things I needed. Um, and now I just got to this part where I don't know how to build the next thing I'm making. And I've got all these papers here with all kinds of ridiculous calculations and like ideas. And I really need to lift this whole thing up. Cause the part I'm building is like this section down here. And where it's sitting right now, that part will be in the floor. So I'm gonna make some wood frames to sit this up on. Right now it's just on some sawhorses, but I need it up like another foot and a half or something. And then hopefully I can figure out what to do. Yeah, I just watched what I recorded there, and I was totally mumbling. That happens when I start thinking really hard and my brain hurts. I start mumbling. I'll try not to do that too much. So this is a drawer slide, and one of the good things that uh, has come out of what I've been doing today is that I've managed to curve one down and have it still work. And that's good because there's this part that I need to move in a curvy motion and uh, I don't know how else to do it because I can't have something at the pivot point because there's already stuff in the way. Okay, since I'm sure someone's going to ask how I got you know, a straight drawer slide to be curved like that, um, <clears throat> so I'll just answer it before I'm ready. I took a clamp clamped a 2x4 over some things so there's a space in here, right? And you can jam stuff in there and bend it. And I took the drawer slide apart. So this is actually the, the bottom piece. The piece that's like right down here. And the top piece, I took it out, took the balls out. So I'm just bending one, one piece at a time. You know, this is the bottom piece and then I'll bend the top piece to match it. And the uh, top piece is actually thinner and easier to bend. But then I just... Uh, Stick it in here and pull up and bend it, move it a little, bend it a little more. And it's a lot of uh, just eyeballing and trying to get it right. Oh, and sometimes this part gets spread out too far so the balls all fall out. So you just take it on something like this and whack it with a hammer to bend it back in. I mean, don't hit it too hard in one spot, but just, you know, tap it all along and it'll bend it back into shape. Another question people keep asking, is do I have like schematics or you know instructions on how to build this thing and I've been debating you know what I should do about that you know I think it would be cool to just you know let everyone know how to build this but um, I don't want this to become an instructional video on how to build this robot if it was going to be an instructional video I'd much rather it be like an instructional video on how to do anything you want because you know that's really the point of this is like I wanted to build this thing that hasn't been done before and uh, you know I just kind of wanted to show the process of how to do something when you you don't have any instructions you don't know how to do it or what you're doing you just have an idea in your head um, so I don't know maybe when I'm done I'll put some instructions of how to build this or something but really I want it to be more of a video about you know, just take your own idea and figure out some way to make it happen. Like this part I'm working on right now. Uh, I mean, my brain hurts because I don't know how to do it. But I've already committed to the project, so I'm going to figure out how to make it happen. And make all these weird parts that my little drawings that I made say I have to do. Yeah, good sentence, Jamie. Sorry, my vocabulary and grammar take a nosedive when I'm thinking math. Alright, I'm back to work. Okay, so there's three of those. Now how do I get this giant thing on top of those? It weighs about 150 pounds so far and half the parts aren't even on it. 
I probably shouldn't record this, but... Like a charm. <laughs> so, another delivery of ball bearings. I think I now have enough to do the whole project. And actually, these ones I got for less than a dollar a piece um, because a friend told me where I can get them cheap because she knew another friend who had a ball bearing company. Um, so, remember that curvy drawer slide I had? Well, it turns out I need a really big one, actually six of them, so I welded two together of that part. Now I've got the other side in there, and it still slides. I have to work it up and down a little to get it smoother. But I have to make a whole bunch of those. And uh, this next robot part, I'm still racking my brain for how to get it all together, but I can start making the parts I know I'll need. So I'll get on that. So remember this thing? Uh, I just realized that I left a part out. So I have to take it all apart and make a new piece and put it back together. But in doing so, I noticed there's a crack where I really don't want one. So I'm gonna have to do some re-welding. Well, I better take it apart. Well, now that those all have reinforcing welds on them, I can get back to uh, building. Which consists of taking apart drawer slides. Now that the crap is off there, it's just uh, a thing that will slide all the way from one end to the other. You can even have it come right off the end and take it apart. really good not to lose any of the little balls. Next is the bending. So I uh, made a little thing here. There's a curved piece of wood. I stick this in there and it just jams up in against the table and then I bend it down to match the curve and the curve's a little bit sharper than I need because the metal springs back a little and uh, I'm gonna be doing this for a while so later <laughs> 